So we're going to be talking about the movie Sicilian Vampire. A 2015 mobster vampire movie. And the man behind this is one Frank D'Angelo, who is multi-talented and has a variety of roles within this film. He's written it, he's produced it, he's directed it, and he stars in it, along with a few other credits as well. Now, the story here is somewhat simple, and it kind of tells you pretty much in the title what this is going to be about. It, it, it focuses on a gangster who amusingly gets turned into a vampire when he opens a box of bananas and a vampire bat flies out and bites him on the neck and seriously that's how he turns into a vampire anyway he is you know he's a mobster basically he's out of the kind of a weekend with his friends and all that and he has to deal with the kind of the typical kind of stuff you see in gangsters betrayals rival families all that sort of stuff but now he has the added uh, both benefits and problems that comes with being a vampire height and strength he's obviously got supernatural powers he seems to be psychic and kind of see visions about things that was happening, but obviously he can't do certain things like uh, set foot on consecrated ground, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much a plot here. Let's talk about the positives and negatives with Sicilian Vampire. There is one huge positive here, and that is the cast. The cast here is very impressive, with many names who you're going to recognise and, rec and certainly recognise from... Uh, mob films and kind of a variety of other B-movie movie, B -movie films. So let's talk about that. You've got Amanda Sante. You've got uh, Daniel Baldwin. You've got James Kahn. Uh, you've got Paul Savino, Robert Davi, Michael Parry, Daryl Hannah. There's loads of famous people here that you're going to recognise. It's a very impressive cast. The other kind of uh, positive I would say here is there are some kind of fun lines of dialogue. A lot of it is kind of very much what you've seen before in kind of mobster films and that kind of banter, that kind of uh, explosive Italian temperament that we've sort of seen explored in uh, in mob films. But nonetheless, there are some good, good scenes here, some good uh, exchanges, some good lines of dialogue. I feel some of it's actually ad-libbed, if you want my opinion. But um, nonetheless, there's some fun exchanges. But let's talk about the negatives, because the negatives on this film, I'm sorry to say, do outweigh the positives. We'll kind of go on to the dialogue again. I feel a lot of this movie has taken scenes from other films and then kind of almost tried to recreate them in this movie. There's quite a famous scene in uh, you know, a, a particular mobster film, shall we say, uh, where, where we have a character kind of who is winding another one up. And then it goes, oh, I'm only fucking with you. And there's a kind of a very similar scene with this one where we have... Uh, um, uh, Frank D'Angelo's character basically tell this his friend's going to get in the boot of the car or he's going to kill him but of course he's joking anyway there's uh, there's a few kind of examples like that where it seems to be taking scenes from famous mob films and kind of placing them wholesale in this one so that was a little bit derivative of that and it just kind of becomes a little bit of a shadow of these other films uh, other negatives it's kind of boring to be honest with you this film drags it is far too long it should be about at least half an hour shorter it does not need to be the length that it is i think it's uh closer to two hours it needs to be about an hour and a half this movie uh 124 minutes there you go so it's far too long it needs to be about maybe 90 to 100 minutes i would say too long um the acting here now there are i've mentioned there are some famous actors here, and that's true. And a lot of them do very good jobs, but a lot of them don't do very good jobs, unfortunately. Daryl Hannah, I'm looking at you, and what the hell is that on your head? Terrible wig, uh, not the fantastic. And I've got to say, uh, Frank D'Angelo, he might be multi-talented, but I'm afraid acting is not one of those talents. And he's, he's not a particularly great actor, and not a particularly charismatic leading man. He's meant to be the kind of the, uh, you know, the, the head soprano, so to speak. Uh, the kind of the main sort of character, but he just comes across as, you know, kind of uninteresting, to be quite honest with you, and an unlikable character. So I feel he should have maybe stepped back if he wants to do this kind of uh, behind the camera stuff and maybe hired, we'll have one of these other guys who he's hired maybe do the lead role. I thought that was a, a mistake. I mean, I think Amada Santi is, is probably the uh, my favorite actor or performance in this film. Maybe he, he should have done the, the main role here. But it just spends far too long just kind of just uh, going, oh, check out this 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 kind of mobster scene that you've seen in another film, and we'll kind of recreate it, or we'll do our own thing, and we'll have this massive long lines of dialogue that kind of nothing to do with the plot, and to try and make it cool and edgy, and it isn't. So unfortunately, this film just has become this becomes quite the bore, uh, with some poor acting, not just from D'Angelo, but there's some other sort of characters as well, some smaller characters that, uh, that, that kind of the, the acting just isn't there, unfortunately, and I feel um, D'Angelo maybe just trying to stretch himself too thin. 
or he's just not, you know, he's just too accepting of them. Um, some poor acting choices, unfortunately. Uh, and it, it's just a boring film, and the, the vampire effects are just stupid as well. The vamp when we see things, the vampire things, they are laughable, absolutely laughable. It seems really low budget. All of the money must have gone on the cast here. I can, I can only surmise. And I feel some of the, you know, it could have been such a, a, a tighter film, could have been a, a more of a, a fun punchy film, but no. As it stands at the moment, this film is kind of boring, long, uninteresting, with shitty effects, but with a good cast and a couple of fun lines of dialogue. So overall, I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.